the views expressed on NerdRealm are not necessarily the views of Breaking Out Entertainment or its advertisers. Listener discretion is advised. We are trained professionals. Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Realm. I'm your host Havoc, and with me, as always, is Revolver Games' Mythic. What's going on, guys? Mythic here, as always, with my Pikachu hat, and then we'll give you a clue on what we're going to talk about. That's right, that's right. With the recent announcement of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and the recent re-release of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, as well as even the, re- the recent release of Pokemon Tournament, we oh, here yeah. at thought it, we'd go back in time and make that ultimate choice that define a generation. Yeah, it was definitely... Definitely. Uh, so that we're going to be talking about Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, uh, and we're going to settle who's the best in all our in our opinions, of course. Uh, but uh, just to let you guys know, most of the de- stat data will be will, that we'll be discussing uh, comes from Cerebi.net, uh, and that's one of the most trusted uh, resources that Pokemon uses. That's right. Uh, so Cerebi.net, go give them a uh, hey, go, go check them out. They have a they built-in Pokedex. They have, I mean. Pretty much a lot of your Pokemon news surfaces there, if not from like other resources. But I would check Cerebi behind that before I go anywhere else. But let's kick it off with number one in the Pokedex, Bulbasaur. This seed Pokemon packs a punch with its grass attacks of Leap Seed and Vine Whip, learned at level 7 and 13, which lay waste to Rock and Water type Pokemon used by Brock and Misty, the first two gem leaders. Uh, <laughs> out of these three starters, Bulbasaur also beats the other Kano starters by reaching his final evolution by evolving from Ivasaur to Venusaur at level 32. Three, After learning three. Solar Beam and Razor Leaf, this hulking brute lays waste to all water types and rock types, leaving old Bruno the Elite Four crying in the corner. Yeah, I mean, Bulbasaur, it, it's good at the start, uh, and it has a strong... It, it ends, doesn't end very well until you get to the final four, I think. But I, I just I haven't always been a big fan of Bulbasaur for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't know why. Well, he runs into some some trouble in the eighth gym and gets blamed. I mean, oh yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, but next up, we have Charmander. Uh, I'm not gonna say he's my favorite, but he's my favorite. <laughs> uh, this lizard Pokemon may only learn its only fire move, uh, Ember, at level nine. But it, what it lacks in firepower, it, its attack power is massive. Uh, so it has a base stat of uh, attack power of 52 and a speed of 65. Uh, while it does struggle with the first two with Miss uh, Brock and uh, Misty, uh, but it destroys Erica, and that's that all, all that matters because it's hard to get a fire type uh, close to the beginning of the game. So yeah, there, is, there are none. There isn't and, none. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, like you said, like, like he does struggle when it comes to Brock and Misty, but I mean, but after that, it's clear sailing. Yeah, I mean, definitely. And, 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 he only owns Ember, but I think you can get like Fire Flamethrower from Celadon City in the in the Big Mart. I think is it Celadon? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I mean, yeah, but at that point you're already learning like some some, some major some major yes, moves, like makes... Slam and things like that. Slash, I think, I mean, is another one, a big one. I mean, uh, fire, like in Red version here. I mean, like my Charles, my Charmeleon, he knows Mega Punch and Body Slam. I mean, yeah, massive what else power, do you need? power moves. Uh, but he evolves at Charmeleon at 16, and uh, unlike Bulbasaur, uh, the next two, like Charmander, uh, they evolved Charizard at level 36. So, uh, but he's a beast, man. He ends with a max of uh, attack of uh, 173 to 266, and a speed, max speed of 205 to 298. So uh, he's a big hitter, big and fast. He's big and fast. Yeah, yeah I mean, and. And you know, like a lot of people kind of give like fire types like a lot of a, a lot of a lot of you know hate just because the fact that hey everybody wants to go with the fire type who doesn't want to light shit on fire it's what we do exactly yeah, I agree <laughs> and I also like him because he's not there's not a lot of fire types in the original 150 no there isn't actually I'm trying to think of it I mean the only I can think of of course like Charmander of course you got Growlithe. Uh, yeah, uh, Bulpix, yeah, Magmar. Uh, 
Well, there is, but that's a bird. I mean, uh, I mean, and that's a legendary. Also a legendary. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but if you break it down, I mean, there's really not a lot of fire types in the world first 150. So, oh, nope, Magmar, that's another one. But yeah, I mean, but when it comes down to it, when you make that first choice, the very beginning of the game, Char Char Charmander is not bad. But I'm no. gonna have to go with my boy right here. Bam. We're going last but not least with Squirtle. This turtle Pokemon uh -huh. bursts on the scene like a bubble at level eight. Makes beating rock just at ease. You make him make his Geodude turn into pebbles. <laughs> that's right. Now, I mean the thing about the, the, the thing about Squirtle though, that's kind of a kind of a kind of a uh, I don't know, kind of gives him a shortcut a, a handicap here, I guess I could say. Is when you get to Misty, he's pretty much useless. I mean, there's no point of having him there. Tackle. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all you can do is get Starmie and Star You. But, yeah. Uh, but he still packs one of the highest defense of the three starters with a base defense of 65. Why well, I mean, this guy to take a beating and keep on ticking? And he, he evolves from Squirtle of War to Order at level 16, and then Blastoise at 36, and it comes up with its max stat that dwarfs your little Charizard with an attack of 173 and 266. And just inches above Venusaur's attack stats of 169 to 262. But let's not forget Blastoise is maxed out in defense at around 205 to 298, making it the toughest out of the three starters. It can take your flamethrower. It can take a bunch of crap before falling. I, I, you know, I agree with that. But but stats are one thing, and the choice of food, your choice is solely on you. Uh, I do say that I think Squirtle is the coolest Kanto starter. I will say that. But I think the fact that Charmander uh, evolved, gets evolved to Charizard, I think Charizard is the best choice. That's my opinion, of course, and I think a lot of people will agree with me. But I will say Charizard is the best. Well, that original Blastoise sprite, check that damn thing out. Check it out. <laughs> I think it looks like he's going to freaking wreck your world. But, hey, I, I go Squirtle. That's just me. But let us know, guys, on who you think is the best down in the comment section. Uh, and also follow us on uh, follow us on Facebook. Follow Lagging Out Network at Facebook.com backslash Lagging Out. As well as over us at Nerd Realm at Facebook.com backslash Nerd Realm. Yes, right. Uh, also check out uh, Revolver Gaming Network at uh, Revolver GN United. Uh, that's YouTube.com, Revolver GN United. And our Facebook and Twitter at uh, Revolver GN. And guys, uh, if you want us to get better, you guys want us to get better quality, better equipment, we're, we're trying to build something big enough for you guys. We're trying to bring you the best in video game news and entertainment, uh, but we need your help. If you go to w.patreon.com backslash lagging out, you can help donate $5, $10, a, a plethora of different prizes available. Uh, and we, like I said, we need your help. So, but uh, on behalf of Mythic and myself, I just want to say good night and nerd on. Pikachu Thunderbolts. <laughs>